Hello everyone, today I have something special for you. I will show you how you can make this cool looking Michelin star chips from duck and prawns at home. So let's do it. So I got this great cookbook from my lovely girlfriend few weeks ago. So I was thinking to cook something from it for you. I found these cool looking chips from duck and prawns. They call it fossilized prawns. So I never done it myself, but try to make it for you. So let's see how it goes. The first thing I have to make is the stock. In the recipe there is wall chicken, wall duck and chicken wings. But the amount there is huge for the restaurant. So I will use one duck without a breast, which I keep for my dinner and I hope that will be enough. So I just chop it roughly and I cover it with cold water. One fast test of the meat. And yeah, looks good. Make sure you start with cold water and don't skim the stock at all. You can probably put even some vegetables or spices, but the original recipe said only meat, so I do it. So the stock needs some time now. In the recipe, they recommend it 12 hours, so I will do it. And now let's start with my prawn chips. I have here some fresh prawns, so I just clean them, peel the skin and the head. And I slice them in the half. Of course, I have to do the test of the prawns also. Looks good, so let's cook them. I start with a little bit of oil on the bottom, then half of the prawns and some more oil on the top. Now you have to cover it with baking paper and heavy pan. And if I understood the recipe properly, you want to cook it for around 30 seconds on like a medium high heat and then turn down the temperature to low and leave the crisp there until they are crispy. Probably around 10 minutes. But I believe you have to find out the best times and temperatures depending on your pan and the stove. But in general, you need to start high and then finish low. You can also finish it in the dehydrator at around 6 degrees Celsius. The stock was cooking for around 10 hours, so I will strain it and reduce it down. The original steps are to cool down the stock and take out the fat completely and then add it later on. But because I'm not sure how much fat to add anyway, I will just take around 70% out now and continue like that and hope for the best. So the stock is done and reduced. The chips are crispy, so now let's complete it. Now is the weirdest part of the recipe for me. You are supposed to reduce the stock down to caramel looking color and thickness. Bring it to a boil and leave it outside of the heat for around 10 minutes so the crust can form on the top. Cut it carefully around and transfer it to baking paper and leave it inside the fridge to set. Now you should start on the cold pan and on low heat cook it slowly until almost crispy. I mean, this method looks very slow and difficult to me, so I'm not sure if there is a reason for it. But I was experimenting and I found out that you can end up with basically the same thing if you just put a bit of sauce on the pan and cook it very slowly. The last step is to peel it, stick the crispy prawns on the top and push it together properly. I'm not sure which way the prawns should be, but I put them shell side down because I think the chips will look better. At this stage you can cut it if you want to and finish it in the dehydrator around 6 degrees celsius until completely crispy.
for serving. They recommended a bit of oil on the top, I guess to make it shiny and the chips are ready to eat. For sure, this is not an easy recipe, but I have to say these chips are super tasty. And honestly, I'm not sure 100% if I did all the things I was supposed to do. I ended up with quite nice chips, so I'm happy. But if someone from Noma is watching, let me know in the comments if it's okay. End of the day, my food inspector liked it as well, so I would consider this experiment the success. And if you would like to learn another cool fight dining chips, check out this video and learn how you can make my milk to build at home. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.